Hello everyone, my name's Ilir2 and welcome back to my Let's Play of Victoria 2, the HBM mod with Kebab, yes, so, in the last episode, well in the first episode, uh, shit went down, shit that shouldn't have went down, as you can see, Russia has taken over Sinai and Alexandria, and we have lost Egypt as a puppet, fuck Russia, Fuck you. They even broke our alliance. Just, just fuck them. Just fuck them. We lost our great power status, but we're about to get that back. We're pretty close. Honestly, we're, we're just a few conquests away from taking back our lands. Well, I'm not taking back our land, but becoming a um, great power. Uh, Greece, currently no one is focusing on, on Greece, which is good. I'm going to annex them when our truce is up eventually yeah in a couple years and of course egypt sadly is protected by france and of course it's allied with persia but that's not a problem uh, once once we become a great power our main focus will be to uh get egypt back under us or most importantly get them out of france uh france's sphere that's going to be another couple years as well so right now uh, we focus on the Arabs because the Arabs is what going are uh, what's going to get us back on top as a great power. So let's send in. Uh, I think just one army down there will be fine. Uh, anyone? Anything else we need? We're allied with Sardinia Piedmont. Is anyone trying to influence us? Oh, I'm sure like Russia will try. Fucking asshole Russians. That's another thing, right? So we need to make friends in Europe. Because when the collapse of the Ottoman Empire happens, it's going to hurt us. A lot. Uh, so yeah, let's start increasing relationship with uh, Russia. They're going to be quite an important ally. I think also Prussia. If we can get Prussia on our side and they form the um, North German Federation and possibly even Germany by that time, they will be an amazing ally as well. Sweden wants an alliance. Sure, more allies the better, I suppose. Do you want an alliance? No, you hate me. I don't understand what that our Casas Belli is. Maybe it's their Casas Belli on us? They don't have any cores on us, do they? No, they don't. Then I don't understand why they want us dead. Oh, right. So we should probably focus on killing these guys first. So, the Al Rashids. Let's do the Established Protectorate. We will be saves coming. Yes, we'll do plenty of conquests in this game as well. Uh, sorry, it's just gonna have to end up like that. Uh, Al Rashid isn't getting influenced by anyone, right? Yep, they are not good. Curtail distribution. That's fine. All right, and I'm hoping get. Uh, I mean, technically, we don't even need to save scum this one because we'll stay under no matter what. But I, I just kind of hope that we'll get the least amount as possible. They're Al Zaid, Zaidi, Zaidi. So, eh, won't be that much of a problem. All right, we got caught. Whatever. At this point, doesn't matter. Uh, Persia, we, well, we're going to fuck with them eventually. Eventually. Uh, now, some of you guys say just restart the whole thing and uh, redo it all over again. Granted, I'm, again, I've never played as the Ottomans in this game, so forgive me if some shit goes down. But no. No, no, it's my fault. I'll retake all this beautiful, beautiful land. And we'll all be happy. Alright, so we're done in Huendvinger. How the fuck do you pronounce that? Go to Ankara. Um, and yeah, there's our factories. Finally got built. Awesome. There you go. We actually have a point now. Mission to Al Rashids. God damn it. You guys are jingoist, right? Yes, you are. Good. Oh, hey. Okay, let's go ahead and get all rights allowed. Since, again, we are quite a diverse group. We should definitely um, appease all the minorities. Try not to piss them off too much, you know? Alright, ideological thought finished. Let's go here and get bureaucrats. Uh, let's go ahead. State and government. Yeah, we want to go state and government because we have a lot of decisions to do with state and government. Oh god, that's going to take us six years. You know what? Go idealism first and then we'll go state and government. Simply because we might as well kill two birds with one stone, right? I think that's a good idea. Still, damn! Why does it take us so long? You know, it's probably you know, yeah, it's because we aren't a great, uh, not great power, uncivilized nation like we were back in um, uh, Persia. Yeah, they get an eighty percent boost to uh, Casas Belli uh, creations. So mm, yeah, that explains it all. 
All right, time to annex Al Rashid's. They don't have many people, only 51,000. Not that impressive. Uh, let's split in half and actually, uh, yeah, divide and conquer that way. You don't want to all die the same place. Uh, tax for the upper class should be taken down. Oh, you know what? Actually, tariffs. Tariffs should be taken down first because they affect everyone. Can we get rid of tariffs? Uh, just about. I'd say yes. Let's go with it. Let's just go with it for now. And deal with the consequences later. Because bureaucrats are coming in. Technically, the more bureaucrats we have, the more it costs for the administration. But I also get more money for our taxes and tariffs. But we don't have tariffs right now. We do not want tariffs. Ooh, the Dutch are slowly... We're very close to the Dutch. We just need to become a great power. And, well, phase one will be finished. All right, looks like some of you guys died. You're only infantry. Or only, um... Yeah, well, infantry. That's the word for it. That sucks. Oh, wait, I forgot we have uh, puppets that get called in. Right. Yeah, well, also, note to self, Russia sucks. I am not going to, uh... They're allied with me? What the fuck? No. Screw you. Yeah, screw you guys. We're not allies. I need to eat you. Eventually. You know, eventually. Uh, let's go ahead and have... What is this? How much does it hurt us? Literacy infamy increase. Ugh. Let me go to attraction. That hurts us a lot. Let's go ahead and get uh, censored press. We're going to get a lot of good things here. What do you guys want? Public meetings. Mm. Well, it'll piss off more people the more rights we give them. Because, you know. Oh my god, you lost two more? What the hell? Again, we don't have any, you know, available soldiers. But still. Oh, and they're allied with Egypt. Although I don't believe Egypt can help them since they are disconnected now. Oh, fuck, but if Egypt gets called in, oh, uh, yeah, that is a problem. If Egypt gets called in, that's just going to fuck with us even more. Oh, and we can't eat the Nedged. We can only demand the concession. Fuck. It's just hurting us more and more over time. All right, well, Al Rashid's time to die. Good. So we've taken over a little bit of Arabia. Then it's, you know, it's something, I suppose. Go over to Basra. We are going to lose soldiers, and that's all right. We'll deal with that later. Just get idealism, for God's sake. Uh, we have enough bureaucrats in these areas. Let's go ahead and... Jesus Christ. You know what? Might as well go there. Uh, Thrace, you know what? It being our capital seems like an important place to put them. And there we go. Get some more bureaucrats in all those areas. Uh, bureaucracy or Administration is only at 42%. And our people, we're only 35% Turkish, which sucks, but, you know, let's go ahead and get free press. Uh, I want to get that. Inspired Nationalists. Oh, God, don't kill me yet. Uh, yeah, we just need militancy above three, and then we can get all that fun stuff. Open borders, peonage, and outlawed. Outlawed slavery. And that will help us out quite a bit. All right. And so you're... These are horribly unbalanced um, groups of people. All right. Um, Prussia. Right. We wanted to increase relations because, my, you know, early bird gets the worm. We need to uh, get some friendlies in Europe because they are going to determine if we succeed or fail miserably. Because if I lose all the Balkans, I will get fucked. Fucked over hard. Um, the United Kingdom is also going to become pro probably going to be a uh, important player in the game here. Hopefully, none of them demand. Oh, hopefully. Oh wait, no, we want to wait. Hopefully, none of them demand Cyprus from me because that. I mean, okay, I'll give up Cyprus if it means we're safe. All right, so the reforms, boom. But we could still, ooh, we could still get a reform. Let's allow meetings. So we've got rid of uh, serfs and of slaves. People should be happy now. They should be, but they, of course they won't be. Serfs freed in the Ottoman Empire. Give the lands uh, lands to the freed serfs. The land belongs to the aristocracy. Distribute the lands to the serfs and pay a compensation to the nobility. Uh, right. Do that. Do that thing. We have money. I don't want to piss off anyone right now. Okay, Greece... You are kind of getting influenced, but not enough. You have no soldiers, and we are very close 
to uh, being able to annex you. Same thing with you, Egypt. But again, them being allied with Hejaz just does not help the situation. But, you know. All right, plurality increase. You know, actually, let's move you over to here. Just in case they pull something out of their ass and decide, you know, everyone's going to uh, rise up against the Ottomans, huh? Because the Ottomans just... God, we are so fucked. <laughs> we are just so... How could we not... I've never seen the Ottomans not take over Syria. Oh, not Syria, but all this land. Like, come on, man. That's just ridiculous. That's stupid. All right, uh, give me some tariffs now up to 20%, I'd say. The race has enough. Let's go to Trebizond. Go to all the areas that have the Turkish. Not many Turks. The yeah, Turks? Turks in the world. <laughs> that sucks. Ooh, Cilicia? Never even heard that was a place. This area... Why is that area owned by Egypt if we have a core? I don't understand what happened to the Ottomans. Like, when when did they become the bitches they are now? Come on, Ottomans. Come on. Alright, plurality. Oh, okay, I, I know someone's going to explain it to me and it's going to be, like, really convoluted. And I'm like, okay, I was kidding. But no, please do explain. Uh... Mashir Mashikri Martyr. Yeah, well, whatever. Dear God, there's so many different people. Why do the Ottomans have to conquer so many? <laughs> I'm sure people have been asking that question for a very, very long time. All right. Uh, the Ottoman Navy, we really should just kill it. How, how many points are we making? Eh, one and a half points. We are, uh, how far behind? Eh, 12 points, but they they are mobilized. Who are they? Ooh, big war? Ooh, please fuck with the Dutch here. Please, you'll help me. Oh, man, Peru is an absolute monarchy. Would you look at that? Oh, the Yucatan is freed. Hello, Yucatan. U.S., are you, are you not going to take over at uh, Mexico? That's weird. I've never seen that. Uh, what else? What else is going on in the world? Luca! It's quite an interesting flag there, this Parma. Luca, semi-constitutional monarchy. I don't know why all the Italians are allying with me. Alright, Konya, you're done. You know what? South Macedonia, you have enough. You have enough Turks there to uh, warrant me. What the hell is a Sephardic? Oh, they must be Jews. They're Jews. That's what they are. Makes sense. Actually, Southern Macedonia has enough people. Probably because of the Jews. I'm kidding. Don't. I'm not. I'm. Not, oh, God. Oh, God. This is going to turn into a PewDiePie thing, isn't it? Oh, God. I'm going to die. Okay. Um. Still losing money somehow. Uh. No. No. Right. We need to fabricate our claim. Wait. On Grisha. Conquer them. We definitely need to save scum this one. It's going to give us 10 prestige and how many people? 134,000 people. And, of course, finally do with the Ottomans. Well, I guess the Ottomans did actually accomplish uh, annexing Greece. Whatever. All right, but uh, I'll see you guys in just one second. All right, so we got caught, but it's only 3.6 infamy. Prussia has allied with us, which is fantastic. Thank you, Prussia. We also got idealism, uh, which means we can get that in only five years rather than like the eight years it was before. So, yeah, goody, goody gumdrops. Uh, let's set this back to yearly. Awesome. All right, and no one, no one is friendly with Greece. Well, Greece, you tried. You definitely, definitely tried. But it wasn't enough. Time to die. Um, no one, okay, Greece just mobilizing forces. And, of course, we have Moldavia and... Wallachia? Yeah, Wallachia coming in to help. Which is always nice to see, little buddies. Uh, actually, you know what? I didn't even need to send any soldiers in there. I totally forget that there are even things. I can just make them do all the work. Sadly, the Ionian Islands will stay free. Some Greeks, I guess, just won't be able to uh, be annexed. Unfortunate, I know, I know. Quite unfortunate, indeed. But, uh, the, you know, it's fine. You know what confuses me? Why do we have guards if we don't have uh, muzzle-loaded rifles? Because that's what you need. You need that. Uh, hey, yeah, no. They've they've totally blockaded the whole area. You know what? Stop them. 
Stop them from blockading. Even though you're horribly underfunded, kill them all. Good. Good. Here, actually blockade them as well just to help out the siege. I think that helps the siege. I believe it does. Oh, hey, there's more. I totally forgot about that area. Oh, but they're ready to surrender. Awesome. Oh, the, the lazy Greeks better pay off their debt. Oh, that's funny. All right, there you go. Annexing Greece. Whew. Ain't that just a doozy? The Ottomans have finally taken back Greece. It's rightful owners. All right, let's do that. No subsidies, of course, because... No one's working in the factories. Let's set it back to 50%. Good. All right. And you know what? We can start building some um, actual soldiers here. So, you know what? Let's wipe out some of them. These need to all die. We cannot have irregulars in our army. It's just stupid. All right. All right. Three guards have one infantry. And one, two, three, four. And of course, we don't have any uh, hussars uh, to build, so we'll just have to build cavalry, cause reasons. Oh my god, what is up with our military? Down to 50%? Down to 50% indeed. We just can't afford it. Of course, now that someone's gonna declare war on me, I swear to god. Alright, Trebizond, hey, we're in 8th place again! Awesome. Uh, Trebizond, you are finished. Let's move you over to, what, Mosul? Yeah, sure. Off to Mosul. Work card at, wait, who's this? What? What? What is this? I saw something. Mosul. Oh, Yazidi. Didn't even know we had Yazidi in the game. I guess it's an, it's an HPM thing, but whatever. All right, and this, this will be our first and only full army. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. All right. Get more prestige, which means we're even further along. And we're going to be building some more soldiers, which means I can tell you right here, right now, it is guaranteed that we are going to become a great power again. We're back, baby. Oh, oh, we're back. Uh, we need to influence Egypt, though. Like, no. Uh, but you know what? Let's increase relations with them just in case. Well, I mean... We need to increase relations with them because uh, we're not going to be able to bring it up much at all. Uh, Sphere Mecklenburg wants an alliance. Sure, why not? All right. Okay, so Prussia and Russia both love me. United Kingdom, let's increase relations with you a little bit just in case. Again, I don't know when it happens, but I do know it happens and it fucks over the Ottomans. Also... So, are the Ottomans technically a European nation since they have a um, our capital in Thrace? So, does that mean we get the um, rush for Africa? That'd be interesting. Alright, obviously, again, Irregulars, get the fuck out. Crusaders, they suck, don't they? I believe Crusaders suck. They're the bad ones. Yeah, they don't have any reconnaissance. That's what you want in an attacking army. So, one. Wait, and then we need two infantry, four artillery. Two and four artillery. There you go. All in Europe. None in um the Near East. Weird. We can build a lot of armies, but we don't have a lot of um support brigades. We just have a lot of just available armies, you know? All right. Come on, make me a great power. There we go. Finally. Let's influence them. We're currently, yeah, we're hostile with them. Of course we are. Uh, of course we are. Which means it's going to take us a while. But, but, we'll get there. Eventually. Are you allied with any other great power? I don't believe you are. Which means, Prussia, this is the beginning of a, hopefully, a glorious relationship. And, uh, hey, can, can, can we can we be better friends, Egypt? I know, I know. There's that whole Oriental crisis thing. But it's just water under the bridge at this point, bro. It's just water under the bridge. Why are we influencing Serbia? Oh, right. I think we were always influencing Serbia. Actually, we should annex Serbia. They are friendly with the Russian bear. The dirty Russian bear. Which means... If we can get them 
down out of friendly territory. That means we could annex Serbia. And of course, I will go for try attempts to go for Montenegro eventually. I don't really want to fuck with anyone's relationship with me until after that whole Balkan crisis happens. Oh, we've been discredited in Serbia. Awesome. Thank you. Really, big help. Big help. I fucking hate you, Russia. Oh my god. You were the worst group of people ever. All right. So how far ahead are we from the Dutch? We are only like nine points, but we, we will get notified. And of course, our armies are rebuilt. We have too many. Oh, wait, that Crusader needs to die. That's what it was. All right, there you go. Two armies. Where are these? Uh, there's one there. I totally forgot there was one there. Lots of irregulars. That's horrible. That is absolutely horrible. But when we attack Egypt, they're going to be an important group there. Although they have 45 brigades. Holy shit on a bed. Egypt, how the fuck do you have 45 brigades? That is ridiculous and you know it. Uh, Austrian Restoration of Order, Chilean War, for blah, blah, blah. All right, but you know what? This is where I'm going to have to end this episode. Yes, so... Greece is now back under the control of the Ottoman Turks, and we have become a great power again. This is our opportunity to take back our Egyptian territories, as long as Russia or France or really anyone doesn't get in the way. So thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Ilya Ratu, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.